course, European League of Legends has been about Fnatic and G2. They've carried European hopes and dreams across countless international tournaments. Back-to-back -back World Finals, an MSI trophy. This is what peak League of Legends looked like. One of these teams has always dominated domestically. But this summer has been different. Rexus tries to dive in the exhaust, but here's the hero of Rexus. And Rexus has to cleanse the QSS and try and get out of there. But he's going to be the last one standing as Rexus versus the world. I think the Fnatic look pretty bad right now, and they have a lot of work to be done to be able to challenge the top spots once again. Everyone in the team wants to be the guy that basically carries us out of this slump and into playoffs. I think it's just about like how you work together, and that's what we have to realize, and that's what we have to work on. Either we're gonna stomp enemies, or we're gonna look like clowns. Look at that damage, that's what you want from your neck, and it's finally paying off. Reckless running for the hills, and Fnatic gift wrapping a bear just like that. My faith in G2 is like rapidly declining. Right now we're getting humbled a bit. We're like in the middle of the pack, so now we're like, can't really be cocky. <laughs> Comes out that hits inspired. You can burst it, you can burst it, you can burst it right now. Chaos has to do it. Oh, Chaos gets in the top of the combo! I don't really think much about blood making players. We are a strong enough team that that should never happen. I'm just honestly tired of losing to G2. It feels like it hurts more than it should. I, I wish in a way it was just another loss and I could move on with my life. But against G2, it just always hurts too much. Anything but winning this bit would be unacceptable for me. They're basically the only remaining rivalry in all the major regions. So many teams have fallen off or they fail to live up to the hype and continue to meet each other. But G2 and Fnatic is almost a surety to always be in the finals. Malik and G2 just had the wrong approach coming into the split based on our experience at the finals. I think it's time for us to like recalibrate and try to get them into the right direction from here. It's no longer just about G2 versus Fnatic. Their rivalry eclipsed by something more crucial, making it to playoffs. No crowds to cheer them on, no energy and passion to pull from but their own. Now the clock is ticking, and they've started to return to form. But with five games left, it would be too little, too late. We were kind of trying out a bunch of different things and it didn't really work out too well for us. We just need to find the right champions for us and we just need to find the right play style. Oh no, nothing left for the Abelio. Shut down, take it out, give him the triple, give him the quadra part, an absolute monster. Curses for Origin, you took the first of the menu. He's sliding those shots around the outbar. And Yankos coming in from Finn Larson, almost taken out by Yankos. The Dawning Shadow shut down. G2, Fnatic support, Fnatic, are you kidding me? They're crushing through the fight, it's all eyes on Bevan, he's locked up. Because the blows were too much for him to deal with a triple kill for Nemesis. Hell of a rough early game, but what a turnaround for the boy in the mid. The stakes are high. No playoffs, no worlds. Spring success will not carry your summer this time. Everything comes down to these final matches. Will Fnatic finally overcome their own demons? Can G2 focus their efforts and find the form that brought them to the top of the table time after time? For these heroes, there is no way around each other. One must win, one must fall.